I invite you to come into a, a comfortable seated position. You can, you can, uh, you know, you can turn away from the screen. There's no real need to be looking at it. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking us in and talking us through the sit, and there'll be periods of quiet too. But um, you can have your gaze, your eyes open and the gaze lowered, or you can have your eyes closed. And either way, you just, you know, you don't need to be sitting in front of the computer if you don't want to be, not at all. So I invite you to, if you're, if you're reclining and your back is supported, then just give yourself to the support. If you're sitting with your back free, unsupported, just pay a little attention now to finding your way to balance. So you might uh, just gently arch your lower back forwards a little bit. So the navel travels forward, you know, maybe it's only half an inch, but just enough to bring a sense of that lumbar curve. And then sort of float your head and the top of your head above the seat. Imagine, by the way, if your back is supported, you can certainly do this too. Imagine that the cranium, the dome at the top of the head is like a parachute. And there's a gentle updraft rising up the spinal column. Just enough to sort of catch and waft that parachute lightly upward. So there's no effort on our part. The upper body is being very lightly tractioned, gently wafted upward. Perhaps as if by a column of steam rising up the center of the of the spinal column. And with that uplift, let your face sag and relax. Let your jaw likewise sink a little bit. Let it hang down a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. And feel the release. Let the tongue lie on the floor of the mouth. Let it be limp. Throat becoming warm and soft. And that warmth spreading into the shoulders and down the arms, upper arms, lower arms, into the hands. So arms and hands are completely limp. However your hands are arranged, let them be limp.
and the same warmth and softness and looseness is melting down into the chest, on down through the diaphragm, and into the upper belly, mid belly, lower belly, spreading into the hips and the seat. And on down into the upper legs, warm and soft, into the knees, spreading all through the lower legs, the ankles, tops of the feet, heels soles of the feet and all the toes the whole body now at rest perhaps with some kind of gentle awareness pervading the body, or perhaps not, just sensing a restfulness, body still, body still. Body still, and perhaps the mind starting to taste little moments of quiet, sometimes of course thoughts arise, that's really no problem at all, any time we notice we've been thinking, we just uh, lightly label thinking, we just say it silently in the mind, thinking, to acknowledge that it's going on or that it has been going on. And notice that the, the stillness and the quiet that are, that are starting to show themselves, you know, they're still here. There's no need for some kind of perfect meditation. There really isn't such a thing. So we're resting we're still again we don't have to be perfectly still We might adjust the body now and then as we need to. We're starting to sense that there is a kind of stillness that's present. And we're 
also finding that there's a certain kind of quiet showing up. And let's now listen to the soundscape, to the whole panoply of sounds, wherever we are, each of us, hearing, hearing, You can try using that little label silently in the mind every few seconds. Hearing. To just keep guiding your awareness toward the soundscape. Hearing. And can you notice that as you're hearing a certain kind of quiet comes over you? A very listening might bring on a kind of quiet. One of my teachers used to say sometimes, all we really do in meditation is listen. So perhaps the listening helps us taste a certain quiet, and that quiet helps us listen. And likewise, stillness helps us sense the body. And the beautiful warm awareness of the body helps us find the stillness.
and both the stillness and the quiet are faces or aspects of this very being. simply of this. 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 There's a certain kind of intimacy with our experience right here and now. The, the word this can point us to, can invite us into this. We don't need to know precisely what the word is referencing. Just sort of use the word. So the invitation here is to say the word silently in your mind every few seconds or maybe more Rarely, just try it out, try it out. Try out using this little tool from an ancient meditation toolbox. Just repeating now and then or in your own rhythm, in your mind. The simple word, this. This. I'll leave you for a little bit to, well, I'll go quiet for a little bit to give you a chance to try it. This.
Yeah. Well, what if nothing special needs to happen? What if just now, you know, all that meditation is is a is a is a releasing back into a an old home, a beautiful home kind of home base that's actually always here. This. It's not that there's some special way we need to experience this, not at all. It's really just this. This. If you like, you might try adjusting the, the word to just this, just this. Somehow it's a kind of radical simplicity, just this. Nothing special, just this. Ever is arising, let it be included. As, as part of this. Receiving the warm welcome of this. Just this. And again, so if thoughts are arising, that's absolutely fine and natural. And when we're aware of them, which might be perhaps right after a train of thought, or it can be while they're arising, just a label in your mind, thinking, thinking. It's almost like letting thoughts know they're welcome. Thinking, thinking is welcome. You know, and if there's any unease arising at any time, let that be welcome to in this space of this. This can accommodate and welcome all our experience. That's why we can really rest in it. Resting in this.
in a certain way, this is ever fresh. Just this. Just this. <laughs> 